may I respond to that? Uh, please, uh, when we get done with our round, oh, of when, when we're finished with all that, yes, when we finish with the round, you'll Thank have you. a chance. Jackie? Um, obviously, we had an issue when uh, Prop 8 was on the ballot and it passed, but what you're really seeing is a huge change in societal opinion about uh, marriage equality, and the vast majority of young people are completely in favor. I am completely in favor of marriage equality. What will I do to support it? I think there, there are, I mean, obviously we're moving in that direction. It's legal. Society's opinion is changing. And I think what we really have to do is make sure that we have more tolerance on that issue. What we see is a lot of bullying in schools, and, and um, education is very important. Rob McCoy. My sister is a lesbian, and she's married. I recognize her marriage. I also recognize the right of the California people to have passed legislation that is overridden by judicial tyranny. I don't think mm -hmm. that's right. I think culturally we're looking at this issue that everyone has that, that right to, to seek marriage. Um, and as the culture defines it, so that's the case. But we're at a point now where it's an infringement on civil rights, and these two trains are going to collide. There's either going to be a restriction on religious liberty or there, there's going to be a reduction or I, I would say an infringement on the rights of the citizens when they vote. Proposition 8 was a great burden to me that a single judge overrode the will of the people. That was never addressed. This is not an issue of gay marriage. I recognize my sister's marriage. I embrace that. I'd even be happy to go to her wedding. But when she asked me to officiate, it's contrary to my, my ecclesiastical calling. And in our country, ecclesiastical law has always been honored based on our civil right of the First Amendment. So we're going to have a collision here, and somebody, we talk about tolerance, somebody's going to lose their rights. And so this needs to be discussed in a greater manner. Um, I recognize her marriage, as I said, but in the same regard, she recognizes my ecclesiastical right not to perform her wedding. And uh, if we're going to force people to lose their businesses because they, they have a conscientious objection to something, um, I just think that's unconscionable. We're a better people than that. We need to work through that process.